okie dokie boo chickens. Here we go. So our first little project um, together, um, just for my ceramics class. I want to work on this little selfie project and then hopefully you guys get them to me and I can post them around the classroom and so on. So I'm calling it Deconstructed Selfie. The principle of design we're talking about here is variety. And variety is the use of several elements of design to hold a viewer's attention and guide them throughout the artwork. So it's like it sounds, using a variety of materials and or a variety of lines or a variety of colors like variety, the spice of life. So in this sample piece, I used a variety of materials. So we've got the blue tape, we got the little Zevia box down here, we've got blue colored pencil, we've got some, um, this is magazine cover that has some blue image and blue pen. So um, this is a monochromatic piece, meaning all one color, but it also has variety. Okay, so for this project, you're going to need a pencil, scissors, paper of some kind, any kind really. Tape or glue would be helpful. Um, found materials, so like hunting around the house. And a phone, aka camera, or a mirror. So let's get this party started. All right. Get myself a piece of paper. Okay. Any old blank piece of paper could work. Computer paper would be fine. Just whatever you have um, lying around would be great. Okay, team. So what we're going to do first is take a little picture. So you're going to get out your phone, or I'm using the iPad here. And you're going to take yourself a little selfie. Jeez. And here's the thing. Some of these might not be good, all right? Like this one. Actually, that's not too bad. But um, for this piece, I would say avoid teeth because that could be a little tricky. So maybe do like mouth closed smiling. But then here's the problem with this picture. My eyes are kind of small and kind of quiet, you know? So what I recommend, something kind of like this one. You can see I got my eyes nice and wide and open. Um, ears or no ears is fine. But I'm kind of trying to mimic this face <laughs> of myself, but also just kind of, you know, simple, right? Okay, and it's taking up most of the screen, so that's kind of helpful. So. Um, you could also use a mirror like this Yee! and look at yourself. Um, but for you guys as beginners, um, I would recommend taking a photo and having like kind of like a static flat image that you can reference. So I'm going to set that guy over here for later. And... Um, because I'm going to use my image and my face to help kind of make my drawing more um, personal or more about me. Okay, so don't get freaked out, little boos. We're going to do a little drawing, and it's a very simple, simple drawing. I'm going to hold your hand through it step by step, and then you'll learn how to draw a realistic head or a human face. Um, so I'm going to try to give you this in the shorthand. Ready? Got our pencil, got our paper. Let's do this. So first thing I recommend is draw yourself a nice big circle. And see how I'm drawing very lightly with the pencil? Like just lightly touch the paper. You know, kind of using my whole shoulder and arm to draw that circle. Um, next, we're going to add a little chin. So. I'm going to just kind of swoopy doopy doop a little chin underneath here because what we want to make is this oval shape, right? But if you break this shape into simple parts, it's a circle. It's a circle that's attached to a little oval. Sound good? So something like this. Now, when you're starting out and drawing, a lot of people do these kind of drawings where they're like, 
taken little short strokes and little hairy lines like this, like tap, 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 tap. You're almost like drawing dots and then connecting them. That's fine if that's where you're at at this point, but what I recommend you do is try to just kind of hover your pencil above the paper and try and just take some kind of sweeping lines, you know, sweeping, gentle lines. Um, if you want to, you can erase this little part of the circle here, whatever, um, but you don't have to. You can keep that work um, kind of layered in there. Okay, so there we go. What we're going to do next is we're going to divide this form into quadrants. So first thing we're going to do is draw a line straight down the middle of your face because your face has bilateral symmetry. And see, the line doesn't have to be perfect. I just kind of have a little confidence and go, good enough, all right, moving on. And then the next line is important. And on this one, I usually like to make a mistake. And what you wanna make sure you do here is put the line in the center of you know, try to get it in the middle as much. I always tend to put mine a little too high and then I have too much chin. Um, so if I feel like that's a little too high, I want it to be equal. I guess you could get out a ruler and go, oh, or you could just kind of measure with your fingers and go, okay, from the top of the head to the middle is here. Oh, I'm a little too long in the chin. So here's an idea, you could shorten the chin. That's what I'm gonna do or you could redraw the line, or you could get a ruler, but we're just gonna simplify. So, one thing I really like about starting you guys out with a drawing project like this is it's actually a good analogy for ceramics. Um, I really started out as a, as a drawer, a person who is really interested in drawing, and then um, because I like the idea of like being able to sketch things lightly and then erase and like change my mind. So now I'm going to add the eyes. So in the picture here, they say you want to have kind of like the top half of your eyes like this. So I'm going to do my little eyes. There's my eye. And here's a little eyelid. So this is kind of like your eyes. Um, you could make them more narrow or further apart, um, but actually having them kind of right in the middle here is a good spot. What you can do is reference your own face and see where my eye is kind of like in the, um, in the center of that next thing. I know when you look at your face, you're going to say, my eyes are a lot higher, but um, just Trust the process here, okay? We're gonna keep it really simple. Happy little eyes, there they are. Um, okay, and like I said, if you're not happy, you can erase and start over. That's the beautiful thing about it. Okay, so step one, make your little oval face, divide it in half, divide it in half, add your eyes. They have theirs a little bit lower, but I'm just gonna go for it. Okay, happy little sleepy eyes. Now, we're gonna do another line kind of right above the eyes, and that's gonna be your little eyebrows. And what I like to do now is I'm gonna reference my picture, and I'm gonna kind of look at my fuzzy little ha hairy eyebrows, and I'm just gonna kind of like shade in a little, they're a little bit rough, bigger here. Um, and then other side too, you know, just kind of lightly draw those in. Meow, 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 meow. No. Oops, good enough, okay? So we need to have a little bit of space between your eye and your eyelid's going to be here. There's like that line above your eye that's kind of like your eyelid. So far, so far so good, okay? Take it slow. Now what we're going to do is we're going to divide the lower quadrant in half and put in your nose. So um, basically you want 
to add that horizontal line at the middle point. So kind of like halfway between here. You could get out your ruler if you want, or you could just kind of eyeball it like I'm going to do. I'm going to go, hmm, is that about halfway? Yep, that's close enough, you know, out there, right? So like, here are our lines. Okay, so we're dividing things in half. Easy, easy, easy. And this is where the tip of your nose is going to go, kind of down at the bottom here. So if you look at the picture, they've got the tip of the nose landing on this line. So what I'm going to do now here is I'm going to kind of like reference my picture. And noses are not the easiest thing to draw. So let me kind of go real slow so you can look at this and then watch me. Okay, looking good. Um, what I would recommend you do is kind of start with like a little line right here that's kind of like the bottom little tip of your nose. Then you're going to add a little bit of your little nostril do. So this is my nostrils and I've got kind of a big nose. And I'm going to add this little curl around the edges here because I have a very wide nose. And there's kind of like, you know, you could draw a little circle here just kind of like to reference like the tip of your nose if you want. But keeping it really simple. And then maybe your nose is skinnier. Mine is, like I said, I got a wide, <laughs> you know, bridge of my nose. I'm going to just kind of lightly draw in the sides of it there. So they kind of, they draw kind of like the tip of the nose, this little swoop, little nostril. You could do like just little holes like that. And then draw kind of like the edges. Just keep it pretty light and simple. And so this is gonna kind of line up into your face like that. Um, and I got a little mole right here um, moly, 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 mama. But I like to start to kind of like make it have some elements that are like me. All right, next we are going to I keep losing my picture. Um, do your ears and mouth are coming up next? Okay, so if your picture has ears. What you're going to do is um, they're going to start kind of on the line that is your eye line. And you're going to just have a little ear kind of come up and out. And then it's going to come down to the nose line. You're like, holy crap, that's a huge ear. But um, when you look at people's faces, that is the actual symmetry or the actual proportions of like where your ears are. Are. So you could kind of like kind of loosely draw them in like this little elf ears and then eventually you could maybe do like a little something like this, you know, a little something like that. Um, but in my case, um, I don't have ears in this picture. So meow, 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 no ears for me. Um, super sims. Okay. Um, and then mouth. So here we go. Fun parts. Um, the mouth is actually going to be kind of about, it's not a halfway thing. It's about a third. You know, if you were like divide your chin into thirds, your mouth would be kind of in like the top third. So I've got like two thirds down here for, for chin. And I've got like one third up here for mouth, like the top of my, you know, your upper lip basically. So just kind of throw in a little line like this to get started. Okay, so we're going to look back at our picture of our face here. And you can also see it kind of in this drawing right here um, that they draw kind of like a little, two little um, that your lips aren't really flat. They kind of go like this a little bit. Like you have that little point. Um, but then I'm also going to kind of add a little bit of a smile to mine. You know, like mine kind of goes up 
and a little just like that just something really simple kind of line and then I'm looking at my own lips here and I like to have you know you have like the little cleft at the top of your lip and then kind of like goes like this you know and then below it I'm going to give myself a little bit more a little fuller lip here something like that so start your drawing kind of generic that's why we're using this to like plan out all the spacing and layout and then we're gonna kinda come in and make it unique so um, and then we're just gonna add what else do we need here oh hairline and neck really quick so um, in mine I kind of look underneath my neck and I have kind of like um, this little section kind of sticking out and then basically the little t-shirt kind of thing and then my hair is kind of over the front like this so I'm just gonna kind of draw some swoopy lines underneath to represent my neck and my shoulder like that just break it down into simple little pieces like it's a little half circle um, quarter circle and the shirt okay next we're gonna do the hairline and so now you're gonna like kind of look at your hairline around the edges and that's what's gonna cover up you know maybe a lot of that giant alien forehead you got um, so for mine what I like to do I'm gonna just kind of go with um, I got this hair kind of comes over the front. I do have a like forehead line that kind of goes like this. Some little bits here. It's gonna kind of go across the front here. You can have it kind of come down. And then my hair kind of just flows down this way. COVID hair. Haven't had a haircut since March except for one from my husband and it was uh, mediocre at best so yeah it's looking pretty rough over here in Kelly's hair land right so just kind of doing this little part right here and I love drawing hair because it's flowy and smooth and you can kind of look at the negative space and the shape of this and then kind of go, okay, how does that, where does it come into my shoulder? Kind of like this. And it kind of goes back. Pretty much like that. Something, you know? Simple, simple. Miss T's head. Okay. So, we got the basics, right? That's not bad. That's kind of like a pretty nice version of me. Um, oh, I gotta get my mole right here. Um start adding little bits and pieces and now what you want to do is dart your eyes back and forth and look to things to make it more unique like I know I need to make the side of my face here a little skinnier and I'm going to kind of bring it in a little bit by my eye and then kind of out a little more by my cheek you can see what I'm doing like this and then my chin is like a little line under your chin here and my chin is very round and my grandma's chin so it's nice you can kind of think about your relatives and people and then it kind of goes out so what's gonna make it more unique is adding these subtle little curves to your face that are gonna say um, yeah this is who I really am. This is not a generic head. This is Miss T. Okay, there we go. She's a white girl, you know. Um, maybe I might look at my lips here and go, oh, this is a little too um, harsh of a line. I'm gonna kind of like smooth that out a little, you know. And it doesn't have to be symmetrical. That's the other thing that's going to make it seem more natural is like our faces are symmetrical, but at the same time, um, 
they're not perfectly symmetrical. Okay, then I see over here, I wanna add this, you know, my little parentheses. <laughs> kind of like the part of your face that connects from like your nose to your mouth. You know, my little cheeky cheekies. And you're like, oh, there's little cheeky cheekies. All right, looking pretty good, you know. And in my opinion, the less I draw on my nose, like the less nose, uh, the better, because I know there's a lot of it there. Um, but if I wanted to, I guess I could add some more like lines to it to give it more definition, but um, that's gonna be good enough. Okay, eyes. Now what I like to do is I'm gonna kind of zoom in and make this eye a little more realistic and I'm gonna um, use the original line that I drew and I'm gonna keep this nice big eye but I'm gonna kind of add a little bit of a uh, you know like this part that's uh, the tear duct and under there okay and there we go meow 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 there we go that's my eye pretty good okay then I'm gonna come over to this eye and I'm gonna make it a little bigger with this bit and add this. It's kind of like you're making a, oops, what did I notice? See how this part of my eye actually touches the eyelid? So I wanna make sure I connect that part. And then I'm going to draw in the black part pretty dark and then just shade this in so you don't look like a total weirdo. Okay, and there's the eyelid, little eyelid line, eyelashes. Okay, I'm keeping it pretty simple here. Okay, it's not a perfect, perfect depiction, but that's not really, you know, we're just starting out here getting it pretty close. Um, there we go. Now we are ready to start thinking about breaking this apart into smaller pieces. So what I'm going to do now is we're going to cut this drawing um, into kind of like a puzzle. So I need to like draw this a little harder, but just so I can see. If you really want to, you could erase all these lines, blah, blah, blah. We're not going to. Um, now what we get to do is use our scissors to basically continue the drawing. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut along my lines. And when you use scissors, you wanna turn the paper. Okay, it makes it easier. Rather than trying to cut around the thing, turn the paper. Ooh, look at this, I'm turning the paper. And that's gonna help me cut a really good bit. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut the rest of this hair and then we'll be right back. Okay, so there we go, I cut out my hair. Now I'm going to cut out the face. So uh, I've been kind of playing around with the idea of, um, you know, breaking your face into like a little bit of a puzzle piece. So on this one I did sort of like a Phantom of the Opera style over my, over my thing. So I'm going to do, I still want to keep my shirt kind of like a separate element. So I'm going to cut that bit out. And before you cut into this, you might want to maybe like plan out how you're going to break up your image. So let's say last time I kind of went like this, like I went, ooh, you know, around my face. This time, maybe what I'm going to do is go a different way. Maybe I want to go 
something that involves my lips. Like maybe go lips to here, up this, around the parentheses, around the nose. Am I doing basically the same thing I did before? Yeah. I guess I'm not a very creative person. There we go. Close enough. All right, so I made a plan, and now we're going to do it. So I'm going to cut along that line. Sorry. Okay. You may decide this is too weird for you, or maybe you want to like take a, you know, take a risk and, yeah, play around with ways of like dividing up your face into different sections. And how can you use materials or textures to represent yourself in these different sections? So, all right. So I'm gonna do my hair first. And I'm going to use my Zevia box here. And so I'm setting down the puzzle piece I'm going to cut out on top of the image I want to use just because I wanted to say live your best kind of like in this little chunk of hair. And so I'm going to set it on there and I'm going to use my pencil and kind of like trace around it. Um, if this is giving me trouble, I could use a pen. Just like Hold it really tight on there and trace it. Okay, so I finished tracing this and now I'm going to cut it out. Okay, with scissors. Alrighty then. So, I took this, I laid it on top of my Zevia box and traced it and then I cut it out with scissors. So, this was a thicker kind of, you know, that really like thin cardboard that you, that soda comes in. Um, it was a little hefty on these scissors, so you want to make sure you pick materials that aren't too hard to work with. If you're using a fat cardboard and you're like struggling, then quit struggling. You're done. <laughs> you know, don't don't do it. Um, all right, so we got our hair piece. We got the rest of our face here going, so you can kind of start to see how this is going to come together. For this t-shirt, I'm going to use this blue tape to um, kind of collage it. And this is a fun process where I'm literally, I'm just going to stick whatever I have to the puzzle piece. Um, so I want it to have like layers and layers of tape. So this is an easy one. I like this like this process. Okay, it's stuck on the table. I'm going to carefully peel it up and then flip it over and then I'm going to cut out the extra. Okay. Alrighty, let's put this together. What we got here? We got our little hair part of our puzzle. I got my shirt, my shoulder. That's pretty easy peasy. And got our face like this. Okay. So I'm going to keep looking for more material. Okay. So what I'm actually going to use is I was using this Ceramics Monthly magazine that has some cool like colors and textures. Like this is actually a really nice one right here. And I kind of grab my puzzle piece and go, oh, could I make this work in here? Like. This might be a really good magazine to use because it's like I've got some good color and variety. It's still kind of in the blue family. Um, maybe I want to have some fun yellow in this potter's wheel. That could work for like an kind of like an image. Or um, before I used this cover, which had like this really cool crazy glaze, and that might work with this piece in the puzzle. In the puzzle. So, give me a second here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of try different ones out. So I'm going to trace. I like this crazed glaze. It's really pretty. Crazing 
is when you see glazed pieces that have these little hairline cracks in the glaze and that's a case where gla the glaze has lots and lots of glass in the recipe and then when it shrinks on top of the clay body you get these beautiful cracks and things so there's one idea the other idea I had was to do maybe this potter's wheel maybe this is too busy for my face but just to kind of give you an idea kind of thinking about how I want it to look hmm, maybe something like this no Here's imagination, which is kind of cool. Center your imagination, that's kind of nice. No, we're gonna do it this way. I'm gonna try. Okay, so let me show you what we have so far. We got our hair. We got our little shoulder. And then I cut out this piece, kind of to represent this part of my face. Is that working? And then I use this to cut out this little piece for kind of like the rest of my face and you're like whoa that is really abstract um, and you're like that's too weird so what you could decide to do is you could cut out your eyes and elements and glue them on here you know and kind of keep that funky background or you may decide I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep an element of the drawing kind of in here. Let me put this on top of some blank paper so you can see what we're getting at here. So we got this part. We're going to add this part. We're going to add this part. And then we're going to pull our hair out of there and put this part in. There we go. She should fit. Why is this not fitting? No, and you have your other originals there. Okay, there we go. There we go. Nice. Okay. And then, you know, maybe what I would do is I could cut out like my eye and stick it in here. Or I might decide, no, I don't like this composition. This takes away too much of my face. I'm going to put this in and then maybe add this bit and go, oh, maybe that's better looking. You know, or maybe this element is too green with my blue theme. Um, and then I'm going to kind of tinker some more. All right, so what I decided to do was cut out the part of my drawing over here that was my eye and stick that on there and I kind of like this flatness of this collage but you can still kind of see into like the eyes and the nose and make out parts of it um, and then now we're starting to kind of get into like more of a green theme maybe I might get some green um, colored pencils in here. Um, I have this whole yellow element, but I kind of decided that didn't really fit. It didn't really work. I could also like just cut this and like add it to the background if I want to. So this is kind of like a great kind of like midpoint of this thing that we're going to kind of we're going to sort of tinker with and play with. I still like this piece, but I'm not sure how. I could trans, you know, put it in there. So just kind of tinkering. Okay, so what I decided I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use some green colored pencil and some blue to kind of like split the difference between the celadon and I'm just gonna use this to kind of like add some color to my drawing. So probably better for you to keep like at least one drawn element but if you decide to go full abstract way to go I'm stoked for you that's cool like I'm just trying to show kind of like 
a different way to do this. So I'm going to just get some green in here. You know, I'm kind of just lightly shading. You know, it's kind of like, oh, I spent all my time drawing that thing and then I want to get rid of it. It's like, well, you don't have to. You could also use different markers on each of the different slices of your drawing. You could use um, different colored pencils. You could break it up lots of different ways if you want to. Um, it doesn't have to look just like mine. I'm just kind of showing you an approach to this. Put some color in here. I like kept all those horizontal lines. I didn't even erase those because I'm just like coloring over top of them. You know, and I'm keeping it kind of light because that's sort of like referencing the lightness of this. You know, just kind of don't want to go too harshly. Maybe get a little darker on my eye here. Get some pretty eyelashes. All right. So. I'm going to stick this all together. So give me a sec. Whoa, it's Picasso. Woo. 